what I said. Streaming. I'm streaming right now. I just started what the stream. What if James gets mugged what on his way back? What the fuck? We can uh, get this on. It started. You missed, stream missed the sick burn that I just gave Josh? That's what I just said. Yes. Are we live now? You fucking Nimrod! Yeah, we're live. Don't say any slides. I just want everyone to know that I actually burned him, but he just wants you to think that it was him burning me the whole time. So, but it didn't happen. Chase, pull up the clip on YouTube later. <laughs> I wasn't recording either. It's gone. It's gone forever. The sick burn Fuck. is gone forever. That's what I said. That's... Anyway, I have a cool story for this podcast that no one's going to believe. I don't believe it. Wow, you got laid. That's crazy. I hate all of you. <laughs> I'm on a roll tonight. No. Um, you should just stay out there walking around. That seems to, to bring them on. Okay, I would, but my phone's at 13%. I will get to my PC in approximately two seconds. Anyway, the, the, amazing, the amazing story time story is that um, I was streaming uh, Diablo. F I was streaming Halo, actually. And I'm sitting here streaming, and I hear knocking on my door. It's, middle, it's like the right at the end of a match. I'm like, ugh. I answer the door while I'm streaming. I open the door, and my brother's standing there, and he just goes, Here. And shoves a laptop into my hands. It's yours now. Uh, and I was like, all right. huh? And he goes, I won one at work. I don't need this one anymore. You know what? Every laptop? I heard, all I heard was fourth monitor. Yes, I have a fourth monitor. I actually put it in the uh, picture of it in the Discord the other night. You have four monitors? Yes. Are you like a programmer or an engineer? No, I don't know uh, what to why do, do you with have the four fourth monitor. Because this laptop is now my gaming PC. It's what I play video games on. Wait, you're on. running four monitors on a laptop? No, not off a laptop. Fuck. Oh. I have three monitors. Well, more accurately, I have two monitors for my PC. One monitor that is just the gaming main monitor, which is connected to everything. It's got my Xbox, my PC, my Xbox 360, and my laptop all plugged into one. And then I have the laptop monitor. This is so overkill, but I love it. Listen, it looks great. I think I fucked up the display. You know, another question I have, why do you have like a gigantic... Everyone can see that in the corner of his screen. There's like a gigantic... Like soundboard mixer. Are you, are you, what are you doing that requires all this machinery? This is like, you are like professional grade tech right now. What are you doing? I got it because I wanted to do multiple people in videos and streams and stuff, but I just haven't had the opportunity. I think I've used it a couple times for multiple, for four tracks, but it's not a four track mixer. It, it all mixes onto one track is the problem. Hmm. Anyways, anyways, I'm back at my crack house. Hey. Someone, you mean the stranger's one that you shoot in? Yeah. 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 Honestly, it look, for some reason, it just looks like a background, like a zoom background right now. I don't know if it's just the lighting. <laughs> it's probably just the lighting, I promise. Here, I like can, Compared to I how can... you lit up right now in the, the background, it looks like you're just out over a background. Oh, and I can, I can change that really fast. Uh, notepad. No, I kind of like it. It 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 goes with like the very uh, DIY, cheap Walmart it brand with, with note with a notepad as my methods of the stream. <laughs> I'm trying to use my laptop right now, and for whatever reason, the entire UI it was just really small, and I'm like trying to look at it very subtly while you guys are talking, and I'm just doing this. Dog is literally squinting. I mean, I fixed it. It's all good. It's all good and dandy and fine now. Fuck. You, you good, dog? No. I didn't think so. So I don't know about y'all, but I just got done drinking my, my English tea. Had some biscuits. 
Or are you British? <laughs> no, but that's the most British thing I've ever heard in America. They kind of know what they're doing with that that whole concept, that whole tea and biscuit thing. It's 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 pretty good. I can see why it's been the popular thing for the past like two cent or two centuries or three centuries or how many many centuries they've been doing it. I think at least four. It's been going for a while. Um. <laughs> That's the most British thing I've ever heard an American man say, and I've been on Twitter asking and seen people on Twitter ask and beg the government to take over their daily lives. <laughs> Wait, are you equating that to British? Yes. <laughs> I don't have the brain cells to comprehend what the fuck you just said. <laughs> British people don't have rights. Are you in their country? They don't have rights. Their government can do whatever the fuck they want to them. You know, you know, See, we live in America. That's though. funny, but old John Tron was better. You said, you know, we live in America, and yeah. here's the reason why the government can't. We have a certain amendment that protects our right to shoot them. Again, I don't have the brain cells to comprehend this conversation right now. I've had a weird fucking head, like, the last couple of days. You have a weird head? Same. It's like... probably, I mean, probably the reason why my brain's a little funky right now is from the amount of weed I smoked last night. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Were you hanging out with Mason or something? No. Just there. Just vibing, as they say. As yeah, the kids say. yeah, and it's finals week, and I have to be, and I gotta study sometime later tonight. <laughs> Bro, really I mean, said, "What in the Kentucky Fried Fuck? <laughs> Am I doing sober right now?" I mean, it was also after a really big. It was also after an event that we put on, and I just did not want to be there, so I said, "Fuck everything." Gotta do what you gotta do. And now it's like a it's like a mix between a headache and just a void. Um. Wow, Nate is going like fire right now in the chat. Yeah, no, he's he's speaking he's spitting facts though. You know, when people yeah. starve to rights, you learn to speak Russian. Um. And then Heather's over here speaking the obvious truth that I'm trained to be a mall Santa. <laughs> A few more, a like, few more years. Genuinely, I genuinely, uh, this gets longer, and then I die at white. I think you you have too much youth in your face. Hey, wait, why does he get to be Sam? Go work at a warehouse for a couple years. Work the night shift at the warehouse. Josh, I'm sorry, I have the fuller beard. No, no, okay. This is. <laughs> Look at that beard. This the is the hidden zoom right feature. Here. This is a man beard. Can we just keep that angle for the rest of the podcast? <laughs> we can't. I can't see shit on Josh's end now. You, what do you mean you can't see shit? This is a man beard. Darn you, manly. I just see it's like it. in 4K. My aunt literally called me a mountain man at Thanksgiving. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it says I haven't photoshopped this shit. You know pull what? Up, I wouldn't put it past you. Pull up there. right now with the fucking <laughs> Jimbus Santa pictures. I need them. I want some. Oh, I already I already have a fucking um, image request from my friend Emma. Um, not not this is nothing to do with the current Christmas talk, but uh, where the fuck is the message that is because I was talking about like how fun rocket racing was or some shit in fortnite oh, yeah. i guess are you talking about that and uh let me let me find the let me find the gabagool i didn't think that was out yet ago. no it's all all the things are out yeah uh, on like three days ago i said holy shit this racing game in fortnite feels clean as fuck and then she reminded me about the shirt the shirt so, back in high school, oh no, I bought a um, 
You know those like spray paint shirts they have at like certain like fairs or amusement parks? Yeah, I have a Batman versus hmm. Superman one somewhere. Um, this the one that I went to. They had a Fortnite design, and and but instead of it having, instead of it saying Fortnite, I said, "Hey, can you write Gamer Friday on it?" What? Because this was a because this was an insight. This is like a bit with some of my with some of my high school friends. So I still have I still have this shirt. I'm gonna need I was, you to wear it to every podcast from now on. I I no I the rule is I can't wear it unless it's on a Friday, gamer. I worked the game night then. Fired. Wear it I mean, game I, night. I'm pretty sure I have worn it at a game night before. I've never seen it. You always wear a hoodie too, so that's the problem. No, the, uh, it would be over the hoodie then if I did have worn it. I will br I will bring it in next semester. Fucking gamer Friday. I also have a request where my friend Emma said, uniform. I need to see you drinking a large mug of beer in the Gamer Friday shirt. I've mm. never had a contact picture for you in my phone, but that would instantly be <laughs> it. Here, here, and I here. said, Lamau, I will fulfill this Christmas wish. What if it was a beer mug, but it was filled with guacamole Gamer Fire 9000? Oh, God. I have to buy more fucking Gamer Fart. Me first. too. I, I'm, I've been out for a while. I still got blue, but it's blue, huh? It's blue. Um, yeah, blue flavored. It's blue. You it's want your shit to be Gamer blue? Um. Uh, shout out to Gamer Subs. Please sponsor us, please. <laughs> yeah, just uh, throw all the actual real celebrities out and care about us. <laughs> yeah, they're like two viewers. Only we have five. Of James, of Josh, go fuck yourself. Yeah, but like three of them are us. Let's be honest, right now. <laughs> Not not one of them is me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, speaking of shirts, though, my mom is wearing a shirt today that is a reference to one, to one of the simplest yet funniest fucking deliveries in the history of Christmas music movies. Um, how many times have y'all seen Christmas Vacation? I hate that movie. Really? Don't watch it. My my family nope. plays it every fucking year, at least twice. I might watch it tonight. Um, I love Gross. it. I have. My a dad rule. has compared himself to Clark Griswold so many goddamn oh. times. See, I don't care about that as much. My problem with it, I have a rule in movies and TV: if they kill a cat, I can't watch it. Oh, okay, it's so my you're rule. Pussy. Unspoken oh, okay. rule. Anyway, and there's a cat that dies in that, so off my list it's not even on screen though if it oh, was okay. on screen i i could understand it was a cat that you like took the time to get attached to i could understand the cat is in the movie for maybe five minutes okay to tell you how how much this far how far this goes that that uh league of legends show that's like top notch a it. class animation they kill one in the first episode that's just a random cat i don't want to watch the rest of it i just stopped there i don't care how good the show is Anyway, I'm going to continue explaining the shirt before we, we jump on to Josh's Can we actually jump on thing? that weird OnlyFans request? Uh, that's a great idea. Well, Can yeah, we get that, that, James? Uh, I mean, it. I told my friend Emma I'm going to give her an image of me drinking a beer, even though I hate beer, out of beer a mug. Beer is good. Beer is good. He's saying you're only, just terrible. Only the t-shirt and a mug of beer. No. No. Yeah, fucking Donald Gosh. Donald Duck in it. I'm not gonna Donald Duck anything. We could do it together. Donald no. Duck my phone calls. <laughs> I mean, I mean, everyone's comparing our beards, but we could, you know, compare cocks. All of them. I would win that. We, we know, we know, you're an agent of chaos, Heather. I am also an agent of chaos. <laughs> I kind of have to be at least in this space. In in the podcast, you mean, or just in general? Yes. <laughs> That's the best response I could have gotten. Not so much beer, yes. but Josh and I will ciders. Oh, I love or meads. I love hard ciders. Give me a mead or a cider, and I'm happy. 
Oh, fuck. You're, you're reminding me I have both of those right next to me. Speaking of alcohol, <laughs> I actually had a really... I had, a, I had an idea to just fuck with Mason when we do that 24-hour stream on New Year's. Mason loves amaretto, right? Oh, you're just going to make him a bunch of amaretto sours? No. There's a clip, and Josh, don't tap out when I say this. There's a clip from Supernatural where Dean goes, amaretto and Irish cream... He's a girl drink drunk, and I want to get that clip and make it a channel point redemption and put turn the speakers on so that every time Mason takes a drink of Amaretto, somebody in chat can play that over the speakers. What does he say? He goes, Amaretto and Irish cream. Apparently he's a girl drink drunk. That sounds like a great drink. Well... We're allowed to I'm drink a girl. This, right? That's official. I'm a girl. Guy. I drink girl drink t girl drinks if too. You can't tell. Girl drinks because they taste we're allowed, good. We're allowed, we're allowed to drink on stream, right? Yes, oh, but good. Dean is just um like hyper masculine is the thing. He's like beer and whiskey. Oh. Oh, that's right. They're cowboys, quote yeah. unquote. Yeah. They're riding in their car everywhere. Yeah, on a steel horse they ride. <sighs> yeah, really cow esque. I'm wanted. <laughs> Uh, season three, episode sixteen. No rest for the wicked. There ain't no rest for the wicked. That's the that's the episode where Sam and Dean sing uh, uh, "Wanted Dead or Alive," or it's the episode before that, which I don't remember the name of. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's almost Christmas, guys! Did you realize Christmas? Just the week. What? It's actually two weeks away. Two weeks. I'm close. No, she Except I'm going to have a really sad Christmas this year because I am on call for work starting Friday. Oh. I thought you were going to say you're going to have a really sad Christmas because your wife left you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Why does that? You're always your focus. The pain behind that laugh. The I'm just so fucking tired of this laugh. <laughs> uh, am I, is that all I am to you? Just the guy with the wife pretty but, much yeah it's really your defining characteristic here. Study after this you, you know what that drunk studying is also studying yes just don't get blackout drunk or else then it's not yeah. studying i've lost the privilege to say which drinks go together after mixing shots of irish cream and southern comfort is that a thing yeah that he did it at your house that. he did southern that with comfort yeah you bought southern comfort for me yeah. And I said, who wants to do cowboy shots? And Nate would do a shot of the Irish cream you brought him. That just and then he would do a like shot a of the combo that should exist. No, it doesn't. Irish it really should. The South just doesn't. That just doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's like Southern people notoriously hate the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're rivals. Everybody you knows. laugh. You laugh. But like yeah, Irish I people, laugh, but like, Irish no. people weren't considered white. For the longest time, and you know, southern people and not well, things that aren't ginger, white. things that aren't <laughs> white. I'm sorry. Southern come to Irish and go together like sour milk and engine oil. <laughs> I was too drunk to care. <laughs> so, can we try that combo? That just sounds like that just sounds like adult pilk. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> yeah, we weren't you white. You we were that. witches. <laughs> Wait, he Heather, he you're drinking. Irish? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ban her real quick. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> listen, boy, if it ain't white, listen, it ain't right. Listen, 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 she's one of the good ones. <laughs> I'm one percent Irish. <laughs> I, I knew that would get that fucking reaction out of you. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I could have voted for Jacksepticeye a second time, I would have. Yes. Heather. I, try, I spent so long trying to think of an Irish famous person. It took me so long. It took you that long to think of an Josh Irish famous person? <laughs> yeah, name like three right now. You can't. That's not Jack Jacksepticeye. Because I already named him. Fuck. Um, give me a second. I can name a Scottish person right now. I can't name a single David Irish person. Tennant, yeah, that's literally who I was thinking of. Um, yeah. Liam Neeson. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, he's Scottish, isn't he? By the way, speaking of David Tennant, Josh, have you seen... Don't, don't, don't. No, I don't want to talk about that. Have you heard no. about the latest episode no, of Doctor Who? don't. Don't bring that up. I don't no, I'm bringing it up. That. Have you? It hurts. What? What about it hurts? It all hurts. What about it specifically? Sixty. There's nothing about it that doesn't hurt. The, That's how you did, specific I can You be. did not like the bi generation. <sighs> so I already was not happy with the the thirteenth. Yeah, thirteenth. That's Jodie Whittaker. And and uh, when they teased the little special with Tenet showing up. I was ecstatic. It's also RTD again. Worried. Oh right, Conor McGregor is also Irish. And then Gregor. is he? Oh, the 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 guy that does the, the fighter. Fighting. Yeah, the fighter. And then Bono, who knocked out an old Bono. man once. Bono. Yeah. Call him fucking Bono. Bono. <laughs> Sounds like a dog. Come here, Bono. <laughs> Come here, Bono. What the dog doing? Anyway, you were the saying, Josh? Irish, apparently. You were saying? Well, I'm just saying that I hated it. That's what I'm saying. Why they, did they took the one thing that all of us Who fans love the most? It's not even and him, they though. They soiled it. It's not even. They ten, soiled It's not it. even 10, though. It's 14. He's a but different they character entirely. It. They soiled it. Listen, I couldn't give two shits about I haven't Dr. seen it. Dude, I'll be honest. I'm just this. going off what people on the internet said. Oh, yeah, the guy. Yeah, the guy from Peaky Blinders. Fuck, what's his name? Irish. Killian Murphy. Yes, that guy. Oppenheimer. I need, I, I need to watch that. I need to watch Peaky Blinders. Have you seen Oppenheimer? Detect Irish. That's a racial spell, Nate. <laughs> it's a racial spell. <laughs> You'll have to show me that next time around. Resident we're around. D&D fan in the chat. My Irish <laughs> senses are tingling. <laughs> My Irish senses are tingling. I think I was Scottish. Fuck. Add that shit to Baldur's Gate 3 now. Get the devs on this call. No, they'll just change the spell to like detect minority or something so you can attack you can add it to like any race. Detect minority. <laughs> but oh, only God. white people have it. Only just suddenly your character goes, wait a damn minute. Anytime somebody starts talking, are you speaking out of turn, boy? Wait, are uh, Irish English. and Scottish, are they minorities when it comes to English people? They used to be. Uh, you're not wrong, Heather. They used to be in America. They used to be uh, minorities. But if I was a British guy, would I be like, oh, yeah, you're you're, an, uh, you're a minority, right? You're you're Irish. Heather's not technically wrong. They do already do that with Dragon It's not, It's a different country now, isn't it? Yeah, but they're all like the British Isles, you know what I mean? Not anymore. I mean, it used to be all the UK, and now it's just... England, Ireland, Scotland, they're all different. Is it different, like super right? offensive to an Irish person to be like, hey, you're you're part of the, like the, the the English, right? They will kill you. Would they like kill you? They, they will, will kill you. fucking kill you. They, they will they they kill will, them you. Scottish. They will blow up your car. <laughs> Is it more of an insult to call them English or Scottish if they're Irish? Uh, I think either one. I think probably English. I think they have more beef with the English. Can we get all those people we just labeled as Irish in this call right now? I want to ask Liam Neeson before he comes to I don't think Liam Neeson gives a shit. 10% of Americans now identify as of Irish descent, which is now larger than the current population of the island. Whoa. They will throw potatoes at you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, dang! You say it the, like that, and, and the I'm, potatoes I'm blow up. They win. I, is that <laughs> they blow up? They're bombs. <laughs> is that made in a bomb, bomb factory? Irish car bombs. They're bombs. They're all just shaped like potatoes. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like a horribly like offensive thing to say? Because the Irish actually were bombing places for a while. It might be. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just. A, I'm just a stupid American on the internet with two other stupid Americans on the internet. Howdy. Talking talking to probably more stupid Americans in the Twitch chat. We're all stupid. An American. But especially him. You're pointing yeah, at me? Right. Whoever, whoever's the that, that direction. Nobody that is guy. that direction. No, nobody is, nobody that, is direction. that direction. On my screen, someone is, so No on the nobody stream is you're just on the stream. In the stream you're just shouting into the void. Well, whoever the guy is in that direction for me is stupid, so you fucking take that back, James. 
<laughs> Josh is pointing to chat. <laughs> In every way, actually. So he's off screen. He's pointing to chat. On off my screen. monitor, he's pointing to the he's monitor that I have chat on. <laughs> you guys know where I lie now. He was pointing to where my chat was. <laughs> All right, well, Josh is canceled. I guess I'm off. I guess I'm canceled. <laughs> Let's go. I bit the hand that feeds me. It finally happened. Publi publicity. <laughs> the drama. He drama. called me stupid. Somebody call Keemstar. <laughs> this is how we get a million subscribers. What is up? Quick, James, drama you say a slur. Nation. Uh, no. <laughs> I will, however, provide fitting music for Josh getting canceled. <laughs> I just have it up in another monitor. I just watch that pop up. There's a Lazy Town video game. No, look at the channel, dumbass. Silva Gunner. Yeah, it's just a Siva Gunner rip. Oh, I'll look at that later. <laughs> you should play it on stream. It's really good. I. I it... There's nothing copyrighted about it, I promise. DMCA'd. Shut down. Well, I haven't listened to this in a hot minute. If anything, Chase is slacking in the beard department, so technically he he's a hair, he's a minority. hair minority. Well, let's not even call him a hair minority, because that infers that he has hair. I have facial hair, you dumb no, bitch. No, you have a you have a Spirit Halloween tape what beard thing on. Your I have as That's much nothing. I have as much facial hair as Norman Reedus. So in the fuck 1990s, you. the Irish Republican Army formed with a radical objective to kick the British off the Northern Ireland. This is Ireland. where the card bombings come from. As the IRA resorted to terror tactics to achieve their goals, the violence ended in the good friday agreements which serve as the foundation of modern irish british relations so can i recategorize the podcast as educational now that we have that segment no but it's definitely for kids now yeah because they learned something yeah next we're gonna tell them what the clitoris is <laughs> don't it's make a the teachers okay. mad the more you know heather i know how to push your buttons is is Heather a robot? No, she's a ginger. But you said push your buttons. I was just only robots have buttons, dude. <sighs> That's why you're not married yet. Yeah. No, it's because women can't fucking stand me. Um, because you don't know how to push the buttons. <laughs> Josh, how do I put this? Um. You being the first, there wasn't, there wasn't, there weren't any shoes to fill, right? What? Hides button. <laughs> Josh, listen, you could be listen, terrible and your wife will never know it. Your buttons were fine. You could. All I'm saying is, Josh, that you could be terrible, and your wife could never know, because she has nothing to compare against. She could just think that that's what it's like. Well, at least she has something to compare to. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> he seems slightly <laughs> indignant about it. <laughs> He's like actually upset him a little bit. <laughs> I just don't know how to respond. You got me. And listen, also, you, you listen, watched you me haven't, do you a haven't, MVP. You haven't, Ignorance is bliss. What can listen, I say? Listen, Heather, you haven't spent a exorbitant amount of time with this man. We haven't spent that much time together, James. We spent enough time together. Seeing each other naked and stuff, but you know. No, not that part. <laughs> not that part. Here, so Mason and I are best friends, right? We know everything about each other. Never seen each other naked. I want to see how long we can keep that going. <laughs> I'd like to see like what the streak is. We're on five years no, listen, right now. Listen, listen. The moment you see each other naked, you're gay lovers. I'm sorry. That's how it is. That's well, just the rule. You, as long as you're wearing socks, though, you're fine. Yeah, it's the homosexuality clause. Do you want to know? <laughs> Do 
Do you want to know the 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 time that the first time I ever heard the term the homosexuality clause, and it actually relates to Mason. <laughs> Mason and I were walking around Amazon when we both worked there, um, time stealing. And I don't remember how it came up, but I asked Mason, would you, for a million dollars, give Jeff, Jeff Bezos an, a sponge bath? And he said, do I get to keep my socks on? I said, what does it matter? He goes, the homosexuality clause, bro. <laughs> He's like, because oh in that case, I'll get in there with him. I'll suck his dick. Like, <laughs> huh? He's like, for a million dollars? I mean, for a million dollars? A lot of money. That's pretty, that's pretty good. If you wouldn't suck dick for a million dollars, you're not poor enough. <laughs> God. <laughs> Let it be known. The barrier Let it has be known. been set. Chase, Chase's number is available. <laughs> Just give him a million dollars. Hey, all you hype rollers in the chat, start your donation train. There we go. Yeah, start a hype train, please. Uh, subs all around. I need a new car, please. Every Seven time figure donations only. On rounds, we've kept all we've kept our socks on, so it's clean. Thank you, Big Nate, ten fifteen for that information. <laughs> oh, why did you say like you're reading off a dono? Because it's funnier that way. Hey, Big Nate, ten fifteen. Thanks for the fifteen bits. Uh, yeah, every time we have, every time we have done a round, uh, I've come in your asshole. Anyway, ah! <laughs> speaking of which, um, you guys—that's uh, a great segue. You guys should. Uh, no pressure, but you know, the sub button's right there. That's what I'm saying, you know. Uh, my button says resubscribe. So what do I do? <laughs> I I have to allow that comment. <laughs> did did that go through for held anybody? A, held held a message for a reason. Sexual sexuality, sex or gender. Allow allow will post to it to chat. We're all homies here. We're all homies here. <laughs> I call it my fudge cream pie. I just like I just read it like properly. Oh my god! I didn't even look this... at. It. I just saw the word cream pie. I love how my Twitch god. chat just centered all of that. Um, what if he just likes fudge? Imagine having the sensor option turned on on Twitch chat. It couldn't be me. Anyway, uh, do you guys want to talk <laughs> yeah, about how let one me of our know when it's too much? Merry Christmas. Do you guys want to talk about um? <laughs> How we got a video taken down last week? Huh? Oh, we did. Yeah, we got a video taken down because of what YouTube's you do? YouTube's auto detect. Oh, yeah. I can't okay. even say yeah. what was said because auto detect will pick it up again and immediately take the video down. Um, quick, quick, make up a quick, make up a like a fake word to say instead of the real word. It. I just there's context to this because it's gonna sound really bad if I just say the sentence that got us flagged. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about there's somebody in the video who's gay. Uh, we're gonna say that he's a frog. Um, mm. for so that we don't get flagged. So there's somebody in the video who's a frog, and he's talking about how he doesn't want there to be any more frogs. He's kidding, of course. And I said, oh, it's not in like a I hate frogs kind of way and just like a, I want all the attention kind of way. And he's like, yeah, exactly. And that's the bit that got us taken down. Because you like frogs. Yeah. He wants to fuck a frog. Anyway. Heather, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to hold my tongue and not say anything about that comment. Wait a minute. <laughs> she doesn't mean with Twitch Prime, does she? It's possible. It could be with Twitch Prime. I'm afraid. Good, you should be. I'm afraid. I don't know to whom you're referring. All of us. At the same time. I know I sure as shit ain't. 
No, it's no, it's you, Chase. I'm sorry. That is who she's talking about. <laughs> Listen, I got I got receipts right now. He didn't no, say no. No, no, if he anyone's didn't say no. no, if anyone's a bottom, it's Emma. I don't know what to say that because I don't know who that is. Yeah. <clears throat> it was for whoever whoever wanted it. <laughs> Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Sorry, Mike. Nope, it was this. Josh last. It, it was, was Josh, Josh last. Josh, Josh is the bottom. Josh's wife pegs him. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I've been playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3 on stream. Good. You're finally playing good games. What do you mean, finally? You stopped playing Halo, thank Christ. I'm still playing Halo. Ah, we failed. Back to the bin with him. I love What's Halo. What's the longest amount of time you've gone without Halo? Uh, like four years. Okay, not counting like before you had Halo or whatever. Four years. <laughs> okay, in the past four years, how long have you gone without it? In the past four years. Um. I will, I'm not even required to say that. I've played it. I know it's a good game. Maybe like an hour, or not an hour, sorry, a year. Um. So here's, here's here, let me plot my Halo story. So we got the Xbox in like 2008, 2009, um, I think, somewhere in there. Uh, with it came Halo 3. I played the fuck out of that until Halo Reach came out. Played the fuck out of that for a while. And then I played Halo 4 briefly. And then three years later, Halo 5 came out. I played that for like a week because it sucked ass. And then in 2018, I repurchased the Master Chief Collection. Or no, in 2014, I purchased the Master Chief Collection on day one. And played that briefly because it was broken. I really didn't touch it beyond that. And then 2015, Halo 5. Didn't touch that for like three years <laughs> until I bought. You ass, you some bitch. What? Sorry, I, I was listening. And then that's this very riveting, so very riveting I, tale. I, I lied the when same I game twenty four seven all the time. It's not the same game. It's not the same the game. I'm it's talking about a game. series. I'm talking about a series of games. <laughs> it's the same game. Look, as a Josh, Zelda I will fan, fucking stab I am you. able to say, Let it be no yeah, I'm playing Chef. Zelda. I am watching a, it's just I am watching a VTuber stream while Chase is talking about this. Are you watching a <laughs> porn stream right now? <laughs> no, I'm not watching a porn stream. I'm watching Iron Mouse. Shut the fuck up. Didn't she win something? Yeah, she won Best Content Creator at the Game Awards. Uh, have you guys seen this these this clip that's been going viral about this Twitch streamer who was fully fucking naked on stream, and the camera was just barely cutting off her titties? Uh huh. She's banned now. I think she just got banned today. But and mm. then if she got like a sub or anything, she would just. How long did that? Stay you know what's really weird about that? I think I actually got recommended her stream while I was watching a Bitaki stream. Because <laughs> it was in the recommended channels. I do remember this. Oh, she's gone now. Um, Thank God. And then there was another streamer who started doing it too. And the first time that I show Speed has done anything that I found funny, he like video chatted with her <laughs> and did the same thing <laughs> as her. Except she's sitting there fully naked with her tits out and he he just goes, Give me a second, and you just hear <laughs> But his hands are up here. <laughs> and she's like, What's that sound? And he goes Oh you know She's like, What's that sound? Dog, that almost that almost redeems the fact that he showed his cock on stream. That absolutely redeems it. That's the funniest thing you could have possibly done. <laughs> I'm gonna get the channel age. I'm gonna get the video age restricted just because I said that word now. What cock? 
Yeah, just censor that out. I, sh- I show meat. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you want to talk about my? Ex- you want me to talk about my experience in Baldur's Gate three? I played for six hours. I'm still in the starting area. Yes, sir. I have all the companions I could get except for one that ran off on me. Because I didn't get to, I didn't get uh, Lazel or whatever the fuck her name is. I didn't get to her in time, so she escaped. Oh, you're so. not missing much if hmm. I'm remembering what who that character is. I want to fuck all the women in that game. Jokes on you! You can. I know, it's great. I'm 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 like testing the water with Shadow Heart right now. I'm like. Man took an hour and a half on the character select screen. He's doing it right. <laughs> I watched it. He needs a big <laughs> demon. Mom. So you can customize the lady that shows up in your dreams. Yes. Oh, you I made a manic pixie dream girl. Oh my That's god. That's also a demon. You would. She's got you short would. hair. She's got horns. You know, maybe it's she a makes me horny. Was that? You, it's probably a good thing you stay with Halo because there's there's not much of that in that. You just focus on the alien, killing aliens so and the hot hologram power. lady. He's got her Turned tits into a out. Twelve year old going through puberty. I, I'm sorry that I enjoy women. I'm a woman enjoyer. Are you not a woman enjoyer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I wouldn't say it on stream like left. that. Well, she's, she's a mean girl, and you can't handle it. <laughs> Josh doesn't enjoy women. Confirmed. <laughs> He tolerates them. <laughs> Despite the fact he's married to one. Yeah, that's why he just tolerates them. That's why he's no longer a woman enjoyer. It's not a hobby for him anymore. It's a full-time job. It's not a ho- oh, it's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, mate. I'm just, I'm just spitting facts right now. Fuck off. All right. Fuck off. Fex shite. Hmm. I, the amount of times that I've had to reload my save in Baldur's Gate 3 because I fucked something up. At the beginning of the game, Nate goes, are we save scumming or are you just going to let stuff happen? I said, ah, whatever happens, happens. I'm not reloading a save for shit. I, the minute. The minute the owl bear died, I was like, all right, we got to go back. We got to go back. The owl bear cub died. I was like, nope, Chubby has to live. Nope, we got to go back. Chat named him Chubby. I had nothing to do with that. That was all chat. But it's adorable. And I love him. And dead. <laughs> but it's a good game. I like it. Yeah. Justice for Chubby. Amen. Uh, I wouldn't say 10 out of 10. The combat's a little slow. I didn't want your opinion. You really anyway. you aren't, are, you would rate you out 10 aren't out really 10 playing Halo, if you so. don't save scum. I don't save scum. I just I save at times that are opportune listen you're not playing Baldur's gate 3 if you're not re- constantly reloading your save to see all the outcomes i'm not doing Let's it to see all the outcomes the... i mean i've accidentally gotten different outcomes um like the time i i accidentally got a better outcome because i failed a roll. who's gonna tell him <laughs> tell him what who's gonna tell uh, you know heather you tell him you tell him i don't i don't save scum i just you know save every five minutes it's all right. <laughs> no, I don't save nearly as much as I should. It's the problem. <laughs> we've we've gone back quite a bit a few times because I've had to reload. The game is... Uh, I don't want to say not very polished on the Xbox because it feels polished on the Xbox, but it's not... The, the It is... It is the newest version. Yeah. Like the most recent version of the game. Yeah. It, it's got some problems. Sometimes the game will just stop to load. Well, yeah, because you don't have a 30, you don't have a 3070. I did not do it on purpose, though, Nate. I didn't know. I was like, oh, this is the way to go, right, Nate? And he goes, yep, you're going the right way. And then I how wander the, into like a oh, level 20 okay. area. How the f- Fuck. Also, I don't, even, f- I don't even have three party members. I think I only had two. 
This man got to the Underdark with two characters. Oh, no. Wait, wait. No, that's not including myself. Yeah. So I had three total. Yeah. I'm dumb. Let me dumb. See, I know nothing about the game yet. Nate's going to play with me. He's going to guide me. Because I know nothing. Can you hook up with other characters in the game? And will Josh and Nate be hooking up? I mean, that depends. Well, I'll just be the the young, unsure lad following my master around. And Nate's going to so groom you. It's up for Nate to decide. Nate's uh, gonna... you, can't, you can't say that on stream, man. Nate's going to groom you. You can't say that shit on stream, dog. <laughs> I hope we should. We have the other channel. We should just be hosting this one. That's what I told him. Yeah, to I was trying to do that and out. I couldn't figure it out. And yeah. let's uh, save that. Not, leave that I'm for the fanfic. Logging, I'm not logging into the other channel. Here, I'll do it real quick. No, it's too late. Get fucked, mate. Oh, I broke it. There you go. Congratulations, you're a fucking idiot. Congratulations, your parents don't love you. I knew that shit a while ago, dog. Why do you think I'm living in a crack house? <laughs> because your parents do love you. The fucking slash host command doesn't fucking work. Yeah, they got rid of hosting. Because of reasons. What? No. This is completely off topic, but have you guys ever gone through your email and just deleted crap? I should. My I trash haven't. my trash right now is at 29,270 messages. My spam email account has 10,483 emails in it. Hey. That's like my first email that I made. I just raided it. And now it. I just use it for spam account. Oh, funny. Um, my first actual email has 15,000. Rookie numbers. And then my, I don't think my capital one has anything, but my personal Fucking one for my yourself. business, my business one has 365. I don't know Rookie. how many is in, I don't know how many is in my uh, Outlook account. Hmm. Well, it feels very satisfying. I'm finally done. I've made a bunch of rules, so nothing ever gets in my inbox ever again. Hey, I just, I'm not even going to look at the individual inboxes. Uh, this is just the overall count at the, on the app. 51,511. God motherfucking damn. Half of those are either game subscription services or... or <laughs> <laughs> yep I don't like how I can unsubscribe from something and still get charged for it I'm getting pissed off I unsubbed from Crunchyroll I just got charged today $8 for Crunchyroll I haven't been subbed to Minecraft Realms for like Damn. a year now and they charge me every fucking month mm -hmm. actually I think I just took care of that never mind because apparently I was still subscribed, but I unsubscribed. I had to like go into the Microsoft website to fucking fix it. Speaking of, when is my Crunchyroll subscription end? Because I need to cancel that shit when it's ready. Um, on the twelfth. Or 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 don't. I don't remember. On the twelfth. How much money do I have right now? Let's find out. <laughs> I'd take my. Run no, it'll be it'll be at the beginning of the month. So, I think it's February 1st. I had to take my Isn't rental February, car back today. I was sad. I don't know how I'm going to work for the rest of the week. I got figure it out. Um, but yeah, let, let me let me give a little, little update on the car saga. Um, so it's all taken care of now. Uh, I have gap insurance. So that's gonna. I don't. I won't owe anything. On the car, the car is gone and done, and it's never coming back. Um, but I broke even, so now I. I. 
I broke even, so I just don't have a car now, and I cannot afford to get another one. So, rest in peace. That's why Prince. you should sub to Twitch.tv slash Exact Chase, please. Because he's broke. Please. So I'm... are all of us. Yeah. You ain't special. <laughs> yeah, the difference is you two fuckers have cars, and Josh is not broke. I might have a car, but I don't have gas money. Josh is a dink. So? I can still be broke, too. Why are you gatekeeping, man? Hey, do you remember the life of Chase's car <laughs> taken before it's time? Yeah, by some little snot-nosed punk. Who didn't have a license, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going on a cruise with my dad, who's fucking loaded. And I'm going to... The entire time, just be like, well, you know, I'm thinking about contacting a lawyer, you know, sue the fuck out of this kid, ruin his life. Wait, how are you going to sue a guy with no money? For a license. One way or another. Well, because I'm going to sue his parents because he's a minor. Because I can't sue the minor. You can sue the parents for negligence. Yeah. And you say they have no money. They're living somewhere, aren't they? I can take their house. This sounds, this sounds mean. I don't give a fuck. Um, what happens is they just have to liquefy all of their assets to pay me. They have to liquefy their ass. So they would have to sell their house, move into a homeless shelter. Okay, your car is not worth the price of their house. Let's be honest here. Let's back it up a little bit into reality. Yeah, but maybe that's can, the only. Maybe that's the Spotify only. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, sorry. It's but... not just about the car. It's about the n gross negligence, um, in which another person was injured. It wasn't me, but somebody was injured. How much was that car worth in its current state? Twenty thousand dollars. Oh, twenty thousand dollars. That's not how much I got thing? for it. That's not how much I got for it when they fucking scrapped it. I got half of that. I got twelve thousand when they fucking scrapped it. Well, my loan was, was this for a new 20, car. 000. Relatively, is oh. it? Well, heck, no. It's not that you actually just take their fucking house and you live there now. It's that in order to pay you, they have to liquefy certain assets, and if that's the the most expensive thing that they have, that would the only thing that they have that could help them pay off the debt, then they would have to liquefy the house. But but is you gonna take their house because of your car? I mean, more that doesn't make accurately, sense. Like, more like, accurately, oh, well, they would have to sell. You broke my pencil. That'll be five hundred bucks, please. Thank you. Go ahead and liquefy. It's not just about that. It's about the 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 loss of a vehicle. It's about the loss of wages because I, I had to leave work early several times and I don't even know how I'm going to get to work for the rest of the week. You got a bike? I'm going to, I guess I'm going to take my mom's car, but my mom needs it to get to doctor's appointments. You got Bro, a bike? if it's this easy to, to win in the real estate market, I'm going to start getting in car accidents. Just blaming. Eh, I'll just take the house. You're not just, you're not actually just, this house is mine now. You get the value of the house. Oh, Mr. Mr. Lexner, you hit my car. I'll take the $34 million mansion. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Listen, if Spotify Premium doesn't shut the fuck up about telling me that I can save money with I can save money with two months of duo, I'm going to fucking strangle the higher ups at Spotify. I, I already pay that. you for premium. I don't, I don't need to I don't need you to pay spend for money no for ads. Duo. You pay for no you ads pay, and you're still getting pay ads. for that crap? Yeah, I pay for it. Go fuck Ew. yourself, Josh. Go fuck yourself. Bro. Josh, listen, listen. First of all, your Jordans are fake. Second of all, I can't say the second one because you get maidens. Third of all, you haven't even thought about buying Spotify Premium. Third of all, your fucking hairline, bro. You know what? I had, or not YouTube, the Spotify Premium, I had it for three months because I got it for 99 cents for three months. But shit, it, it was, was 99 cool. cents. God, I'm but old. But the minute that special deal left so did i so i ain't paying crap so you're not in it for the long haul you're just in you're just there for what you can get all right yeah yeah if they go back to 99 cents i'll be in but shit, listen, it was listen cents. listen if i didn't listen to music fucking everywhere that i go i wouldn't fucking need spotify premium or if my car had a fucking cd player <laughs> 
James over here like, I hear voices all the time. You're not wrong. <laughs> like my dad See, saying, I kill Spotify that man, but. In the car, but. Ah, the, I, honestly, the ads aren't that bad half the time. They're not like YouTube ads. YouTube ads are from the ads. <laughs> if you tap here, you get 30 minutes of ad-free music. <laughs> Want a break from really? the ads? If you tap here, you get 30 minutes of ad free me. <laughs> really? Bass beast. Bass boost. Really? <laughs> tap now, you get 30 minutes of ad free music. <laughs> we'll wait. I will take that any day over the YouTube question. Crap. Question. Do you get YouTube ads when listening to a podcast? Or not YouTube ads. Uh, that Spotify ad? That's the podcast? One? Yeah. Honestly, I don't think so, unless I'm not listening in a car, which is pretty much never. You if know what would be I'm really fucking funny? If somebody was trying to listen to the podcast and they got that ad, the and then they came back, and they come back around on you saying, want a break from the ads? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works, but... That's be, really funny. It'd be funny though. It'd be hilarious. It would be funny. Usually just when edit I listen, it in. Usually when I listen to podcasts on Spotify, it's just like they have like ads they'll have ads baked in, but it's like at the beginning and the end and it's usually for other stuff that they have been done you know, doing. We could have ads baked in. <laughs> baked. We could just be <laughs> baked. Or based. <laughs> also, um, James, you might be interested in knowing this resident since you're the resident fat ass. Um, okay. <laughs> McDonald's is running a promotion right now. If you spend twenty dollars or more, you get a free twenty piece. Listen, okay. I'm. Can I? Can I talk about McDonald's for a second? Depends on what you're gonna the say. The floor is yours. The reason. I, I don't know. I don't know what higher up thought that McDonald's food was good. Because it's not, all right? The only good McDonald's is the breakfast, and they know that. They know how good their breakfast is. I like the nuggies, and I like the burgers, and I like the fries. Okay, but which burger? Are we talking the normal burger that comes on a Big Mac, or are we talking about the Quarter Pounder burgers? Yes. All right, then. Uh, honestly, as someone Chase... who has listen, as someone who has worked in a McDonald's, who has also ate their food most most of his life, I don't remember when I first started eating McDonald's and I was younger. Um, I'll Came tell you the this: the, the only McDonald's. reason we ever bought McDonald's because it was cheap. It used to be cheap. You could get a large fry. For fucking ninety nine cents, the good days. It is two seventy nine for a large fry. Hey, in this Bro, fucking a economy, Big Mac meal in was this, under ten dollars. In this fucking economy, that's still cheap. Nah, nah. Mm -mm. Taco Bell, dollar yeah, burritos yeah, all Taco day Bell. every day. Listen, McDonald's used to have a dollar menu. It's not a dollar menu anymore. It's a, it's a, it's just a menu. You know who, Taco you know who you can fucking thank for champion. that? You know who you can fucking thank for that? Who? The fucking nincompoop sitting in the Oval Office right now. True. True. I'm blaming the McDonald's customers. <laughs> Screw them. Blame the customers. The customers. What the fuck you blaming me for, Josh? You could Stop blame. I didn't food. do shit. You could blame anybody else. You could blame the fucking executives. I only ate their food because it was. You it could used blame to the be government. Cheap. You could blame your fucking mom, but no, you choose to blame the people who had nothing to do with it. You have everything to do it. You're buying the premium Spotify. You're buying all the dope price hamburger. What does my fucking Spotify habits? What do my fucking Spotify habits have to do with your fat ass fucking blaming me for goddamn inflation? It has everything to do with it. And you know it. 
Hey, at least Spotify. That's my final least, argument. Listen, at least Spotify premiums prices stay the same. No, they don't. They went up from ten dollars to fucking twelve. What? When that's I was two young, burritos, bro. When I was in fucking high school, it used to be ten dollars. Oh yeah, no, that's right. I did remember. I do remember this. At least it wasn't like as high as a jump from YouTube Premium being ten dollars to twenty-one. That's why I'll never buy. Have you noticed YouTube's ads have gotten even worse just like this past week? Yes, they've gotten worse because they've gotten rid of. You can't use normal ad blockers anymore. You can't even skip now. You actually like instead of skipping the first ad, you have to skip the first ad and then skip the next ad too. Mm hmm. I I have not had this problem. Yeah, I haven't had the problem because I still pay for YouTube Premium. I I, I just watch so much YouTube. I, I do too, and I just you know what? I also also yeah. if uh, I'll just get over it. Uh, I'll get over it before that doesn't I spend work more anymore, money. Nate. Fun fact: that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> They're on that shit. Also, did you know that YouTube loads longer on other browsers other than Google Chrome? Because they've added artificial load times to other browsers that aren't Google Chrome. Our capitalist overlords are taking control. Anyways, just download fucking ad speed up. There's like a, there's like an ad speed up uh, add on you can download to your browser that just uh, that. It, that it just speeds up the ad. I'll have to look for it again. I, I, I remember seeing it in a YouTube but... short. My auto skipper stopped working too. Hey James, I have a question for you. What? So you say that you don't have any money at all, right? Yeah. So why are you paying thirty dollars for YouTube Premium, fifteen dollars for Spotify Premium, and another fucking eight dollars for Crunchyroll, plus whatever mm, else you pay got him. for Game Pass? You pay fifteen for Game Pass. I pay ten for Game. And Pass. let's not even talk about the oh. avocado toast. I don't even like avocados, bro. An avocado, thanks. I get the you meme. need to pull yourself up by uh, those bootstraps, buddy. Listen, yeah, you're listen. just buying too much Starbucks and avocado toast. One, I don't buy Starbucks. Two, still doesn't get I the meme. Hate still does not get the meme. I get the fucking meme. <laughs> you need the fucking meme. I'll play the sound effect. I'll get this age restricted. <laughs> you didn't the last time. Know what it is, is. I know what it is. You should kill yourself now. <laughs> hey, can we? At some point, we need to add that in 2020, I'm done arguing. <sighs> why do you? Why do you think you're gonna end up working overtime tomorrow, Nate? Huh? Nate said, I started my first day at work today. I can tell him to end up working overtime. Oh, how, yeah. How the fuck? Hmm. Wait, what? Not just every tomorrow, week. Every week. Jesus Christ. On a Are bicycle. you in a salary job? Or like what? Are you Why getting would you have to work overtime paid all the time? for overtime? Spicy. Nate, if you're working overtime and you're getting paid hourly, there's absolutely... <laughs> If you, if you work overtime, you have five dollars. Shut up. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have five dollars. No, I don't. Do you guys remember that meme? Yes, I do remember that bitch. Josh, do you know what we're talking about? Nope. That Twitch streamer who um would just uh, get aggressive and tell people to sub. Oh, and, lots of those. And then when people be like, oh, I don't have money, she'd be like, oh, but you have time to watch Twitch? If you have time to watch Twitch, you have $5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I still, to this day, I cannot comprehend the fucking logic behind that. If I have time to watch Twitch, that means I'm not at work. Which means I might not have the money. If I don't have I'm, time to watch Twitch, are, are, then I have $5. Uh, are not all of the the famous examples of that stupid logic like the the e-girls that just literally have no brains they're just doing other things on twitch to make money if i recall correctly like how we were, the one that we were just talking about earlier yeah i i don't 
I don't know what you just said, Josh, and I'm confused by it. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this guy just... It, it was in one year out the other. <laughs> I don't remember their names, but I remember seeing multiple... I don't remember any of their names. Oh, cool. I can just look. Yeah. There's literally a section on Twitch. For? For pools, hot tubs, and beaches. I was actually watching a video about this earlier. Bro, they know what they're doing. Yes, because it makes them money. It makes Twitch more money. There's quite less here. Other than this one random VTuber, there's one, two, three, four, five, five people just in their, five fe females just in their bikinis. And one of them is not even in the pool. That's so messed up. Well, she's in a bikini on this though. Platform. It's beach. Um, so if I walk out in, in a bikini, room. am I going to be okay or are they going to ban me? No, they're no, going to ban you because you're, you're a guy. Because you're a guy and we don't have enough subs. Well, that's not. Who are they to say that? They're the, the, they're literally the owner of the owners of the website. Of course, they have. Then the I'll sue them for discrimination. Good luck with that. <laughs> You, you signed an agreement when you entered the platform that they can do whatever the fuck they when want. When you coordinate they can the end of day shift change as a labor coordinator, then everyone wants to see the labor coordinator for their pay, time, attendance, drama on their way off, on their way off work. So I spend the the end every day pulling putting out fires, easy overtime. This is completely unrelated. Um, you should just fire everyone then. You don't have to worry about it. This is completely unrelated, um, but y'all remember, I think it was like a year ago, that chick who got banned off Twitch for getting railed midstream? <laughs> no, I don't remember this. Please enlighten us. She's like, it, it, it's like a side angle, so you can't see anything, obviously, thank God, but she's like... Then why are you talking about it? Because you can tell. You can't see that she's like you can't see penetration, but you can you can tell. She got banned because she's making faces and stuff, and you can see somebody behind her and the fact that she's the whole time. You can't. And that's get, how OnlyFans was born. You can't. Fans you can't get railed on Twitch, believe it or not. Yeah, fun fact. It's frowned upon. And that's how Fansley was born. Like masturbating on an airplane. <laughs> Thanks, Osama. Huh? <laughs> that's from that's from the hangover. It's from the hangover. Oh no, I think he says thanks, Obama. He says one of the two. But thanks, Osama makes more sense. <laughs> Can I stop working here? <laughs> What? Oh, I think it makes no. more sense to blame the terrorists that did the thing with the planes about plane stuff than it does to blame the president at the time. Who wasn't even president when we started implementing all the plane stuff. Is that where the snakes came from? <laughs> I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes. I'm sick. This motherfucking plane. I'm sick and tired of all these motherfucking snakes in this motherfucking plane of existence. I actually watched that movie. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. That was your scary movie as a kid? I'm, I'm terrified of snakes. You understand this, yeah, right? Yeah, but like, really? That's what got you as a child? There were plenty of <laughs> other movies that scared the shit out of me as a kid. Nah. Weak. Weak. The only, the only one that ever traumatized me as a child was the War of the Worlds one with uh, Tom, Cruise. Tom Cruise. That's a really good that movie. That one screwed me up big time i don't even know the name of the movie that the first i remember the first horror movie i ever saw i don't even remember the name of it um but i was like three or four i remember it vividly dog i remember um it was some like monster movie where this like former cop his partner got killed or whatever and he was chasing down this monster and it was like reaching a, it, I remember it reached in this lady's bathroom window and killed her and it left her heel covered in blood behind. 
And at the end of the movie, I walked off and went to go watch Winnie the Pooh because I was like three or four. And that was too fucking much for me. And I came back and the credits were rolling and there were a bunch of houses on fire behind it. And I said, what the fuck happened? And my brother said, oh, the monster crawled under the houses. And I was like, I, to this day, I don't know what the fuck that means. I think like the monster was got set on fire or something. And then it like, craw- I don't know. I don't, can somebody help me find this movie? There's a Reddit for that, I'm pretty sure. I yeah, think I think it might have been a parody movie because I also remember um, his partner getting killed at one point, like at the very beginning of the movie, and her, and th- this might be me like misremembering this because I remember my mom saying that's not a real person, that's a doll. Um, I think I remember her eye like popping off it was like a spring I don't remember I can't it was so fucking long ago it was like fucking 20 years ago I don't remember well I can see why those specific things would terrorize you my my thing was always seeing people in the movies dying that looked like people I knew in real life It just for me it was anybody dying at, at, at one point Oh, see, for me, it was, was Optimus Prime people. dying in tra- and the in the Transformers the movie. Oh, the the Dark of the Moon one. Where no, he gets stabbed. No, back. the Transformers the movie, like the nineteen. 19- oh God, I don't remember when it when this movie came out. Hold on. He comes back though, right? No, he dies. What they actually kill him? Yes, the the Transformers the movie. Well, that's a uh, the nineteen eighty six film. No, you know, you know why they did it though? They killed off all the old Transformers to sell the new Transformers. Cause that's what old Transformers was back in that's, the day. That's like the original Pokemon movie, but they actually do kill everyone. They don't just re- bring them back right after they they fool you. They just they just they're dead. They just end the movie. Okay, there. but it's a good, but it's still a good movie though. You should watch it. Nah, that's that's my other rule. You can't kill a cat. You can't kill Optimus Prime. I'm adding <laughs> that one. So I you were you, you are just making shit up. No, no, this is the my always brother in Christ. Thing. I just you just my brother in up. Christ. You made the sandwich. <laughs> you know, speaking of giant things fighting each other, I saw Godzilla over the weekend. Oh I shit! Need to watch that new Godzilla. That movie is good. Good. I I've realized this is this has come to my attention. As a Godzilla fan, I have two sides. I have two halves. I have the fi- the side that's. There are two like, wolves inside of you. Yes. One is I have gay, the side. The other is gay. You are gay. <laughs> that loves a really impactful, like, very narrative focused, a lot of, like, character driven development on the human side. I just love that part. And Godzilla just kind of, like, the backdrop, the, the catalyst for all of that. And okay, then I have, so and then the, I have the other side. Godzilla films. That I like just watching Godzilla punch things and blow things so up. So all of the Japanese Godzilla films. No, it's reversed. The Godzilla ones and the American ones suck with the humans. Everything sucks. I wish they just re- deleted that part and just left yes. the fighting. Because the fighting is fun. Watching Donkey Kong and, and Godzilla fight each other, that, that's great. But I could give two crap about the humans. But the humans and the, the Japanese ones, whoo! And then the narrative, the metaphors, oh, that's good stuff. 10 out of 10. Chase, you look like you're... Pun- you I'm trying to find Godzilla. this fucking movie, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, zoning you guys out. I'm, like, Josh, have you wow. watched Shin Godzilla? Is that the, the, the series? Like, the, no, the series the mo- of animations no, and then no, the movie? The mo- no, the movie Shin Godzilla. Well, they're, they, I think they made a movie, and then they have, like continuations in like an anime or something but i have not seen the movie or are the anime. you should watch the you should watch the film it is so good it's it i heard has, it's a very it similar has, idea to this one it has probably one of my favorite versions of godzilla in he's this broken film. As heck. well he's kind of broken as heck but also like he actively like evolves over the course of the film and it's so cool to watch. And I won't say anything other than that. So, so when you go watch the movie, 
I, I have heard about it. Like, it seems like an interesting concept because they used him as a metaphor for the uh, the nuclear meltdown, right? Mm-hmm. Instead of the nuclear bombs, which I like that concept. This one, obviously, they went back to the World War II bomb metaphor, but still, just I love him being used that way. It just works. Indeed. Mm. We need a we need a chair emote for Chase's channel for when he's AFK. It's it's like this one with the chair. Oh, hold on, where's the What the fuck is the emote called? I know I'm subbed to this guy on Twitch. Where's what's the emote called? Oh, it's called it's called it, it's just uh whenever one of my streamers I watch is is afk that that's just the emote people spam because it's just his chair hmm. what a what a what a quirky quirky guy his chair Indeed. shout out to distant coder on twitch <laughs> what if we just ended right now It'd be funny he just came came back and we're all gone that would be funny I'm kind of tempted. Very tempted. I might do it. I'm tired. I'm old. Because you would do it. You, dog, I'm it's old. only nine. There are, this is my bedtime. Well, not my, yet, but I like 10 oh, o'clock. After 10 o'clock, I get bedtime time. It's sleeping. You're, you're sick in the head. You're fucked. I'm an adult. I'm not looking forward to that life. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm right there. You're right on the cusp. You're in your final days in the KND, my friend. Unfortunately. Man, when is this motherfucker coming back? I don't know. He might he might never come back. Damn, that's crazy. I also saw, in addition to Godzilla, I also saw the new Studio Ghibli movie. I haven't had a chance to watch it. We actually ended up doing a double double header of those, and then we got sushi. Nice. <laughs> we just just devoted the whole day to that culture. What are my plans after college? I have no fucking clue, man. That's that's what finding this internship is gonna do. Hopefully, that gets my foot in the door someplace, and that's where I go for a while. If Wait, I what's, don't find what's uh what's your major? Music tech. Oh, well, there's plenty of that for plenty of room for that around here. I know that. There's enough room, but it's not like Seattle or Nashville or. I mean, I Memphis suppose, but also, or... I mean, those places you probably have such ridiculous competition probably painful just to even get in i mean you have competition everywhere that's true in this degree yeah. i mean that's what that's what that's what me trying to that's what me finding an internship is supposed to do but i still haven't gotten the internship yet hopefully we'll get one eventually hmm. i'm just worried about finals right now to be applying to places Ugh, I don't miss those. That's the worst part about school next to papers. Mm hmm. There he is. What took you so fucking long? What did Ooh. you put in chat? Oh. Um. So I went downstairs and asked my mom what the movie was. She doesn't remember. However, in doing so, I remembered my actual first horror movie, um, which you will probably have heard of and know that it's a terrible, terrible movie. Uh, Jaws the Revenge. Oh, my fucking God. I remember vividly watching that. I don't think we made it that far into the movie before I tapped out. Why did you Is that start a sequel with that of Jaws? One? Yeah. yeah. It's the f it's the fourth Jaws movie. From 1987. I, this one had CGI, right? 
it took uh, I the, remember the shark roars at one point. It took the the shark three movies to get his revenge finally. They kill the shark in every movie. Is the problem. It's like it's a descendant of the original shark that's now going after the descendants of the people that killed the original shark. What? Doesn't make is the shark any fucking like sense. that sentient? It doesn't make any fucking sense. And also <laughs> apparently worse with Buddha. I, I don't understand how that makes Listen. any sense. It doesn't. Listen. It doesn't. Josh. That's the problem. Josh, you know, like, this I thought Sharknado good. was supposed to be the, the wacky shark movie, but no. this actually sounds. No, even the shark it. roars Listen. at one point. It makes a fucking like tiger roar. Like it, it Listen, pops out know, of the water you know, and goes, this is, you know, this is a good movie when it has a 0% on Rotten Tomato and a 15% audience score. Was this still made by Spielberg or? The hell no. Oh, it wasn't? The, the, do you, Michael Caine's in that movie. And did, did you hear his statement on the movie? Somebody said, oh, no. um, how did you, how did you feel? Like, did you like, and were you proud of, of Jaws 4? And he said, I liked and was proud of the mansion that movie bought me. I mean, Jaws 3 wasn't any good either. Speaking of movies about killer animals, did y'all hear about what got announced at the Game Awards that I'm really excited for? What, the Fallout TV series? No, or? the Jurassic Park game. Oh, yeah! The first-person horror survival Jurassic Park game. Yeah, that looked. it looked... Like, I got concerned because it looked very Dead by Daylight-y. No, it looks like it, it, I'm getting alien isolation vibes from it more than anything. Fair enough. I'm excited for it because um, I'm not like super, super like in depth into the Jurassic Park franchise, but I fucking I'm a slut for Jurassic Park. Like I'll I will go to see a Jurassic Park movie every time they release it. I went and saw. Even if you know it's going to be shit. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It doesn't need to be a good movie. I just need to see dinosaurs chomp, 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 chomp. That's it. I you should watch Godzilla films. I like Godzilla films too. Okay, good. You have seen Godzilla films. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm mainly the the uh, U.S. stuff, like the 2014. I haven't seen the 2014 one, but I saw King of the Monsters. I saw Godzilla vs. Kong. I saw Kong Skull Island. Love those movies. I need to watch the first you need one. You need to watch Shin Godzilla. I was just talking to Josh about that. You need to watch Shin Godzilla. Um, it won Best Film in 2016 when it came out. Like, Best Film in Japan. Huh. Is it... Is it I, don't, I, don't, I don't like to watch... What is that, like, grumbling? I don't like to watch dubbed or subbed Read movies. the fucking subtitles. I don't want to. That's the problem. Because I miss it. Honestly, like, if you don't read the subtitles, you'll still get a good kick out of watching Godzilla. Yeah, I'm watching Godzilla's the Godzilla go watch, rampant. No what. Fair enough. Um, but like, I, here's here's how much of a Jurassic Park fan I am. Um, most people uh, don't like two or three, or World or Fallen Kingdom, or Dominion. But we'll get to that one. But I really like two and three. Unless it's with the original trilogy. Yeah, I love the original trilogy. I love all of those movies. They're all I will watch. I would watch the entire Jurassic Park trilogy in one sitting. Like if you if you were like Chase, I'll give you five dollars to sit there and watch Jurassic Park one, two, and three back to back. I would be like, okay, bet. Because <laughs> I love those movies. Each movie has a scene that I fucking love. Jurassic Park one, it's when the T Rex breaks out. What's well, not to love? Jurassic Park 2, it's when the T-Rex is in fucking San Diego wreaking fucking havoc on the city. A lot of people think that scene is stupid. I fucking love it. It is such a subversion of expectations. It's such... It, it's a new thing. It's not like, oh, we're back on the island. We're doing the same stuff as last time. It's like, okay, now these fuckers are on the mainland. That's a problem. And then they had a chance to go back to that and they didn't we'll get back to that one again um jurassic park 3 i really love the scene where they're they're going through the fence and they just hear the phone ringing and he's like hey turn your fucking phone off i don't have my phone i gave it to this guy who got eaten and they all slowly turn around and there's a spinosaurus standing there as dumb as you think a spinosaurus could look just 
<laughs> staring directly at the camera as stupid. He looks so fucking stupid doing just. <laughs> looks like he lost brain cells because he's just he's waiting for them to notice him. He's just like <laughs> getting that comedic effect. It's not even played for laughs, but it gets me every fucking time. It's also just a good scene, in my opinion. Like, it's funny, but it's also just a good scene because of, it's just a really good reveal. <laughs> and then they use it in a very good way in that they just... You just... Every time you hear the phone, it's just like, oh, shit. They'll just be around and you just hear you just hear that noise. Oh, shit, there's a Spinosaurus. It's done so well. And then the raptors are done really well in Jurassic Park 3 as well. I don't remember exactly. I just remember thinking this in that they do the Jaws thing where we don't see them for a while. And it's just... And then boo! Yeah, and then boo. And then Alan... Please tell me you guys get that joke. Nope. I, nope. You fell flat. Here. I need to find it. <laughs> I got that joke. <laughs> I'll put it in the Discord. I need both of you to watch it. It's two seconds long. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Rain of fire. No, it's the not rain fuck? of fire. That's an actual scene. The next video, Jurassic Park three, but but the Raptors only say Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm linking that right now. My mom just texted me. She thinks that the movie I was talking about is Rain of Fire, which we have been talking about watching. You and I, James, have been talking about watching There's Rain no of Fire. There's no way that this all circles back around to Rain of Fire. There's only one way to find out. There's, no There's only one way, way to find out. This circles back to Rain of Fire. Uh, hold on. I want. I wonder if there's like a... Hold on. All right. Um... I guess that's what we're doing tonight is we're watching Rain of Fire. No. <laughs> Find out. Or I'm watching Rain of Fire then, I guess. Fuck you. Um, we've been talking about watching Rain of Fire for so long. We've been talking about it since, like, I don't know, August? September? And we keep just forgetting about it. Eh. This happens. Yeah. The Jurassic Park through the Raptors. That's funny. Have you guys been purveyors of the Jurassic Park franchise? Purveyors? Yeah. Have you have you been uh are you like frequenters? I mean I watch them when it comes on. Chase trying to use big words. Oh yeah, also, I don't I don't know what I mean, that means. The only ones I've seen in theater are world. I saw when and I went to see one after that when i went to see the dominion ones are terrible i liked world um i liked fallen kingdom i did not like dominion uh when i went to see dominion though uh my local theater was doing a double feature where i could see the first Jurassic park and then dominion so the experience was worthwhile because i got to see a movie i'd never seen in theaters before in theaters fair so mm -hmm. it was it was a very worthwhile experience for me. Um but Dominion hey, wait, Chase, tell us tell us how much Dominion fucking sucks. <laughs> I go to Jurassic Park movies for one fucking reason. That's to see cool dinosaurs wreak fucking havoc. You know what that movie doesn't have? Dinosaurs wreaking havoc? None of it. None of it. There's there's like a five minute scene where all the main characters who all have plot armor, by the way are um facing down against a, a fucking i don't even know what kind of dinosaur it is i don't i'm not a dinosaur kid i never was and it's like slowly creeping Hi. around it's like slowly cre creeping around when they have an overturned 
Jeep mm-hmm. and it's doing the thing from the first movie when it turns the Jeep looking for him. Mm-hmm. And they just all have plot armor and I just can't. It, it's I mean, it's a cool scene, but I'm just not I'm just not. Not vibing. It, you don't feel anything. I about to say, Josh, can I just have that ring light? No. Why not? You don't use it. You don't stream anymore. I am sort of. I'm streaming right now. What are you talking about? I uh, I mean, you don't stream on your channel at twitch.tv slash large22. You don't know that. I'm, I, I'm, I can go check your stream. When's the last right time now? you you watched? How, when, when's the last you? When I can't speak. I noticed. Um, you know what I kind of want to do at some point, but probably not anytime soon. Uh, because no. I just don't have the energy to to work on mythic difficulty because I'm the only one doing anything. Um, is I would like to have like scheduled. Wait, it says it says your next stream is on Monday at 8 p.m. EST. Are you missing your own stream? Oh no! Josh yeah. traded his stream for marriage. He traded his soul for marriage, actually. Um, but uh, I I would love to do like scheduled streams where it's like other people streaming various things. It'd be cool. Um. But I know that no one would do anything, and it would just be me all the time having to schedule everything and coordinate everything. And well, considering you are the the head of this, yes, that is what you would do. Yeah, but I want other That's people to take some initiative because I would have to be in I have to, I have to be in everything right now. <laughs> well, that's I, what the point. The you one are thing, the everything the because one th- it's your idea. The one thing I wasn't in, nobody recorded. Nobody hit the fucking record button. That's your job. It's your channel. I couldn't be there. My fucking car got totaled. I'm talking about you, James. Fuck you. Leadership. Dog, I don't know what the fuck you you. want from me when I'm used to doing my own shit. I want you to hit the record button. I want you to hit the record button. You should have fucking told me to hit the record button on the street. Why should I have to tell you that? Because Twitch has a built-in system. That I use. That's stupid. You're stupid. Ooh, we're getting we're crazy all now. Stupid. We're trying yes. to stream on Twitch. Yes. That's also part of the problem. And Nate, you're right, but also creative ventures, I just don't want to be doing everything. Like, I just There's fiber. I ask. I, I don't have the money for that. I ask people, hey, do you want to do this? And it's just no. And then I, I have to figure uh, I'm fine with, like, coordinating stuff. That's fine. But I'm just... I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't feel like... I don't feel like anybody else should be obligated to do anything. Because they're not getting paid. But at the same time, I would appreciate the help. But it's not my idea. <laughs> that's that's my that's my argument. Just because it's not your idea doesn't mean you can't help. I'm I mean, you're helping. Right now. You're helping right now, but I just I don't know how to explain it. Like, there's there's more. Like, the podcast doesn't take a whole lot of work, I'll be honest. What? But, this is a lot of work, actually. No, no, that's you. not what I mean. That's, I mean, post. I'm, I'm I, working I, so hard right now. I mean, I don't, robe, I don't mean. Desk, playing video games I, while we're talking. This, this here, this here that we're doing right now, this is the most amount of work that goes into the podcast. <laughs> um, I'm, I mean, like, the post-production. Like, no work goes into that at all, really. Yeah, sorry, none of us have. T- sorry, none of us want to edit. My fault, slime. It's why uh, we don't have I any videos. Do. Cause Trevor said he would edit, but his computer's dog shit. So, um, it's uh, taking some time. Which is fine, cause Whoa. we don't have an audience that's gonna be mad about us not keeping a schedule anyway. But I need to, I need to ask him how that's going. It's probably not. 
Well, last time I heard, he was making sure the audio worked, and apparently it did work. Um, but I don't. I haven't heard anything else about that since like Friday. So keeping the lights together until the hardware and business comes along naturally. I'm trying. I just. Listen, it'll, it'll all come. It'll all come down, crashing and burning at some point. I mean, we haven't uploaded in like a week. Oof. As long as I keep the podcast going, I feel like I'm doing something. Which yeah. I thought there wasn't going to be a podcast this mm-hmm. week. And I said, oh, there it goes. There it goes. I, yeah, my thought process is as long as we have a podcast, there is a mythic difficulty. And then I thought we weren't going to have one. I was like. I just didn't see the fucking DM because I was out eating dinner. You know who else didn't see the DM but showed up anyway? Josh, Josh did not see the DM. Just showed up. And I was like, oh, hey, Josh. And he's like, hey. I'm like, you showed up? He's like, why wouldn't I? I was like, because you didn't respond to me. He goes, oh, you texted me. Like, I try to ask people as a common courtesy and get, like, a confirmation of whether or not they're going to be on the podcast. I'm a busy man. You just don't look at your Discord. No, genuinely, when you sent me a message at, like, what was it 548 almost six i was sitting down getting eating food and just dissociating that was the literal moment that i remembered that we were doing a podcast tonight because otherwise i was going to stream Baldur's gate three and i'm going to be honest i was really hoping that james would be like yeah sure and trevor would also be like yeah sure and josh would also be like yeah sure so i could just continue my nap Mm mm-hmm and then wake up and there's a thing done wait so you didn't even want a podcast tonight i'm exhausted bro we're all exhausted i mean valid to do valid it's just part of being an adult I had um, a <laughs> smash pal spam calls him <laughs> we want to reach him um no why don't we just stream games that we want to play while we're in our podcast what do you mean like we could just stream them on Discord as the stream, as well as us cameras, and then we could just. I suggested us doing that after that. the podcast as like a a post thing that we just don't upload, and I was told no, nobody wants to do that. Who told you that? You and James. Well, probably because the podcast goes till like ten thirty, which is stupid long for a podcast. It's not even stupid long for a podcast. You're just a fucking boomer. What podcast are you listening to? The the, three the drunk long? tank, off topic, fuck face. These How are all... many people are on these podcasts, and what do they do? There are three people on fuck face. There's anywhere from four. Well, this one of this has ended. On off topic, there was anywhere from like four to seven people. Um, but what is what is their content? They would just shoot the shit, basically. Fuck face was the only themed podcast out of all of them, and it was literally just. Hey, do you want to hear about how I fucked myself over for a joke today? Here's what I did. And they would call it a fuck face. Mm-hmm. That's how I fuck face today. Mm-hmm. There's also uh, Welcome to Night Vale. Uh, also, well, heavy production. Is, uh, is, also, <laughs> Good Morning Night Vale. Is Mythic Difficulty going to do a uh, playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 or... Does it, does it have a crossplay? Yes. Or so I hear. Maybe. I mean, I can't because I'm leaving town in four days. Right. But you guys could. You guys could do that. Josh? Hmm? Huh? You could, you could, you, when you play with Nate, you could record it and upload it. But I just want to play for funsies to hang out. I mean, you could do both. You could do both. That's a lot of work. You could do both. You could play 
once for funsies to hang out and then you could do another playthrough just for videos and stuff but why i don't know just say you don't want to be a part of myth of difficulty anymore dude he wants to be on the podcast obviously because he still shows up every week i was here first tonight just yeah. we all know yeah I'll I'll give him that. Committed here. In fact, listen. My that. excuse is it's finals week. Fuck off. No, because that's a valid excuse. I also accept. I just don't want to. I I, I just want honesty about it. That's my thing. I don't care if you don't want to. I care a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's a valid reason. Um, right. I just don't want to is a valid reason. Just fucking tell me that you don't want to. I don't want to what? Play Baldur's Gate 3 on stream? Yeah. Not necessarily. What does Blood have the joystick for? Is he playing Flight Sim? I'm playing, yeah, so act, well, Space Flight Sim. Are you playing? It's kind of the same thing. I'm playing Elite Dangerous right now. <laughs> hey, remember that, that playthrough of No Man's Sky we started like six months ago? Ha! <laughs> that josh was uh, recommended to me we're gonna do this it's gonna be great and then we just never did it again mm -hmm. well why'd we stop i don't know i mm -hmm. think we just just couldn't get everybody together again for it and at this point i was waiting for you josh to be like yeah we could do that because at the end of the but day, I'm not in charge. It was it's your series. You're the creative it's director. Not my series. You're the creative director on No Man's Sky. I'm saying it right now. You're in charge. No. You're in charge of No Man's Sky. <laughs> what am I getting paid? What's my salary? This you, is a director. Your position, salary so is big a butt. chicken nugget a year. In this economy, <laughs> especially in this economy. The recession is hitting everyone hard. He's playing Star Citizen, by the way. I just looked over at Discord. Shh. If you tell the people that, they're going to rage against me. This guy's a fucking You're nerd. not the machine. Um, but the, listen, the recession didn't just hit the consumer hard. It hit the business as well. So we're going to need you to pull over time. Very early on, Josh told me that he wasn't going to be doing any work. Like, probably, like, within the first couple weeks of Mythic Difficulty, Josh was like, yeah, just so you know, if I have to do work, I'm out. <laughs> and I was like, even if we start getting paid for it, he's like, especially if we start getting paid for it. What he's can like, I, I say? I'm, I'm lazy. He's like, I just don't want to do anything. And I was like, okay. I limited options at the time i was just like well you agreed so fuck me i guess yep just get fucked i guess <laughs> yep <laughs> let's go let's go you understand he points at his head and he says, let's go. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Uh, I, I, just, I just know that I'm going to go on this eight-day vacation and I'm going to come back. And there's not going to have been a podcast episode. There's not going to have been anything. And Wait, I, when is this happening? I am leaving on Friday. Uh... This man is not going to be here for the Christmas special. No, I get back. Wait, like, wait when's the Christmas special? Next week. <laughs> there isn't the going to be a Christmas special. Christmas. There's not going to be a Christmas special because you guys aren't going to do anything. You guys are going to forget or something. And it's there's just not going to be a podcast next week. I think just despite you, everyone who's in this Discord except you is going to be on that stream. <laughs> you know what? I'd be okay with that. I would just be like, okay, you guys got the podcast from here on out. I'll just never be on it again. And I'd be fine with that. Absolutely fine. Just as long as you remember to press record. <laughs> you paying for my hard drive space?
You're like a woman, James. You're just like a woman. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> it's just something my dad used to say. You fucking brainlet. Anytime, anytime anybody would give him any sort of trouble, he would just go, you're just like a woman. And he'd be like, okay, well, let's dissect that. What does that mean? Yeah, let's dissect that. You sure that's not just from trauma? <laughs> it just, no, he's just sexist. Um, yeah, okay. Just anytime there was the slightest inconvenience from anybody, just, ah, you're just like a woman. Listen, when the game comes out, I might do a series on Mecha Break. Okay. Because Sweet. That shit, because I, I've signed up for the closed... I, I tried signing up for the closed alpha, and I filled out everything. So here's hoping I get into that. Because that was, that was shown off at the Game Awards. It looks really fun as fuck. It's also multiplayer. I'll be out of town. All right. Well, I don't know when the closed beta is happening, so or the closed alpha is happening, so. You know what game I really want to do a series on, um, but I don't know, I, I, that Jurassic Park game. I I want to see, I want I want a full play of that on the channel at some point. Because that'd be you know, cool. If, really, if we really want to go to our achievement hunter roots, we should just play through that one Yu-Gi-Oh game. What are you talking about? Uh, what like. I think it was Legacy of the Duelist where uh guy who was playing it lost to Exodia. Are you talking about when somebody got Michaeled? Yeah, when when Michael got Michaeled. <laughs> and Ray got Michaeled? Yeah, and then Ray got Michaeled. Here, I gotta see what it what exactly it was so Ray. It was Legacy of the Duelist. I got Michaeled. I'm gonna mute it, but Joey's so salt. Yeah, you right, man. You right. Guys, I have company over. I'm reading the subtitles. It's all right. They're autogen. My friend came over. Eventually, I have to go down and say hello. Okay. Oh. He, I don't even think he gets a turn. This is where the alpha cards come in. I have. No. Don't it's remember because, how to use it's because the bot starts and he just <laughs> keeps drawing cards and he draws all five pieces of Exodia and just gets fucked. I guess I guess I'll put you in defense. Do I still. It, it's loading. Have the same. Oh, Chimera, the flying mythical beast. Gazelle, the king of magical beasts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you're playing as. You're using a Yugi deck. Turn change. Draw Yugi. phase. Standby Draw phase. Main phase, phase, phase one. Phase one. Activate Pot of Greed. Draw two cards. Activate Graceful Charity. Draw three. Discard two. Activate Pot of Greed. Do you have Draw this memorized? Exodia. This is just how you used to play Exodia back in the day. Because Pot of Greed just came up. He threw out Dust Tornado. Chain. Dust Tornado destroys. Yeah, d destroys doesn't negate, dumbass. Set a spell or trap car on the field. Yes or no? Yeah, if he wants to. He's typing something. <laughs> uh, yes, I will put... I'll put this one down. Why not? All right. I'll... And he put down something that I couldn't see what it was. Pot of duality. There was pot of greed on the on the left side. Yeah. Pot of greed. Pot of greed. <laughs> it's impressive. I remember this happened a lot quicker. It well, because it happened to uh, it happened to uh, uh, Michael quicker. Yeah. Here. Let's see if I find the original video. Yeah, here it is. It's 42 seconds long. Yeah, I'm going to put the audio on. Michael's so... Can y'all hear this? Yes. Uh, what is that? I'm just gonna play the game on here. Nobody can see In the it. background. Nobody can see it. What? It just says watch stream and I'm not clicking on it. <gasps> That's rude. Well, it's gonna be background <laughs> enjoyment. I, he literally didn't even go. No, he didn't even get a chance to go. He just goes, he just gets fucked. 
Yeah, pot of greed. He goes, well, that's all right. Into another pot of greed. What? Are you kidding me? What? Are you fucking kidding me? How many times have you seen that video? Too many. I just tried to drag my mouse over into the uh, off the laptop and onto my PC. That, that was embarrassing. What is he playing right now? Who, Josh? Yeah. Oh, nobody wants to watch fucking earlier. Star Citizen. Yeah, Star. Uh, it was. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm I looked over at Discord. Citizen. That's how I figured it out. But like, it'd be cool if if people started streaming for Mythic Difficulty on the chan on the YouTube channel or something. I don't know. Kind of like what would I stream though? Whatever the fuck you wanted. Um, kind of like how the Yogg's cast does that, where like they'll have like daily streams, or whatever, but it'll be different people every day. It'd be like a schedule of like, okay, this person streaming this day, this day, this, 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 this. That'd be nice. That'd be cool. Be hip. I'm a tire. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of my shit, too. Yeah, I'm also tired of my own shit as well. I contemplate death every night. You, too? No one will ever love me. Anyway. um, That, that, that was a good podcast. Yeah, uh, that was a good podcast. Um, I'm going to keep berating these guys about the ideas I have that I don't think anybody would ever be interested in. Among us. But after the podcast, because Josh is just now playing a game and it's taking up like a like a fourth of the goddamn podcast screen. Yeah, and that's what you wanted at the end of the podcast. Uh, sure, sure. You know what? I'm gonna stop the recording and we're just gonna switch to Josh playing Star Citizen. Star Citizen. All right. So that was a good podcast. Thanks, thanks for watching. If you if you want to catch more post streams like the one we're about to do, follow either All Down But Nine on Twitch or Exact Chase on Twitch. Sometimes we swap, depending on the day of the week, depending on what we feel like. Anyway, we'll, we'll mainly be on the All Down But Nine Twitch stream. Because yeah, the only reason we weren't today is because I just I'm not logged in on my OBS Streamlabs OBS, <laughs> and I did not have the time to do it. Even though, because James is the one that's logged in. Yeah, and I should be logged into my own stream, but you know, I haven't streamed in one. I haven't streamed in a while. We'll get to that. I stream often. Yeah, no shit. Push on TV slash exact chase, please sub. Or just exact chase, not the exact chase. Push on TV slash exact chase, not please. Not that the guy. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. The fuck is that the guy? Go fuck yourselves.